Okay, Lou Depot back here again, and we're going to get into some radiant heat, and I'm going to explain what it is and what it does and what its advantages are. And basically what radiant heat is, is it's an energy that travels through space. A good example would be the sun. The sun being 3 million degrees and the earth being 61 degrees. Well, the sun heats the earth. As you remember our thermodynamics class, heat always goes to cool. But if you were to get on a rocket ship and go halfway to the sun, which would be about 45 million miles away, that temperature in space would still be about minus 400 degrees Fahrenheit. It's freezing cold up there. It does not heat the air radiant. It only heats objects. And that's the difference. Another good expression would be um, if you were to walk down the road on a, on a cool fall day, where you're walking through the shade and it's chilly, and then you hit those patches of sun where the sun's getting through the shade or through the cheese and it's really nice and warm, and you hit that spot. Well, the air on that street did not change temperature at all. It's still that same probably 60 degrees. But what did change is the radiant is hitting you, and you're being heated by the sun through radiant. And that's the difference. Although the air temperature never changed because it doesn't heat air, you feel the warmth. The nice part about Radiant is you woman or anybody with dry skin in the wintertime, baseboard heat, hot air being the worst, heats the air and sucks out the humidity. Radiant heat does not heat the air, it heats objects. That humidity stays there. You want that humidity to be somewhere between 50 and 70 percent. Actually, 60 is the ultimate. With radiant heat, it always stays exactly at that. It does not heat the air and take the humidity out where baseboard and hot and radiators do, and so does hot air. But the other advantage is the money. Hot air furnaces, if you were to calculate your hot air bill and it turned out to be about $1,000 a year to heat your house for the winter, well, it would now be 500 a year with radiant heat, although radiant heat initially is a lot more expensive to first set it up. Long term, it's going to be worth it because you don't have that dry, uncomfortable air and your savings would be about 50% less if you convert it from hot air. With baseboard or radiators, about 30% less. Why? Because you don't have to heat the radiant heat that hot. Baseboard and radiators, the hot water has got to be heated to 180, 190 degrees. Radiant heat, only about 120, 530 tops. And that's a huge difference. And we're going to get way into it, and you're going to see and understand why. So this is going to help. This is going to be very interesting.